For your next project, we're going to use the Pythagorean Theorem to create spirals. And from this spiral, you're going to turn it into a picture such as these examples. Maybe just something geometric. Maybe turn it into some kind of animal like the peacock. Or even the cute hungry caterpillar. All right, so on this um, spiral project, you're going to start with a triangle and you're going to keep um, attaching triangles to it and it's going to create a spiral. This is what the first few triangles will look like. All right, so some helpful hints for this project. Complete the project in pencil first, then sharpen lines with pen or marker. When labeling the diagram, print clearly. Again, this is the start of the spiral. Okay, so you're going to need a ruler, pencil, colored markers, or pencils to color in your design. All right, the first step or the pre-step is to use the three by three right angle to start. And this has been done for you on the design page. So you're gonna have um, this design page for your picture. And you're gonna have your work page, which is the back of this. This is where you're gonna show your work. Okay, so on the design page, there is a three by three right angle here. So this is three centimeters by three centimeters. Okay, so three centimeters by three centimeters, and we have a right angle here. All right, so the design page, we're gonna use the ruler to connect the endpoints of the two segments, and this will create your first right triangle. So all you're gonna do is take your ruler and finish out the triangle. Okay, so this is our first triangle, and in our right angle, we're just gonna number this as triangle one. And each of these has a side length, a side length of three centimeters. So I'm gonna label both of these with three centimeters. All right, so on my work page, I'm gonna do the math for the hypotenuse. Okay, so down here at the bottom is our Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And I've gone ahead and rewritten it because we're gonna be solving for the hypotenuse each time, we're gonna be solving for c. And you can do all of that with the um, square root of a squared plus b squared. So this is the work that you're gonna show. You're gonna write the formula every time just like this. My side lengths are three and three. So this is gonna be the square root of three squared plus three squared. And I'm gonna um, round all of my work to the nearest tenth. So I can put all of this in the calculator. Second and x squared going to give me my square root and this is 3 squared plus 3 squared which when I round this to the nearest tenth is about 4.2 centimeters. So C is approximately 4.2 centimeters. Okay so I'm going to go back to the design page and I'm going to label this hypotenuse as 4.2 centimeters. All right, so now I'm going to draw another right triangle. So to do this, I need a right angle from my hypotenuse. So um, you can use your ruler or you can use um, a sheet of paper, the corner of the paper, okay? So that just makes my right angle. And all of my outsides are going to be three centimeters. So I need to make sure this is three centimeters. And this will get connected. Connect these two sides.
So again, all of my outside um, legs are three centimeters where my right angle is. I'm just gonna go ahead and over that triangle two. So the hypotenuse is 4.2, this is three. To find out this hypotenuse, I'm gonna go back to my work page. Okay, so triangle one was here, triangle two, I'm gonna write my formula again. The square root of a squared plus b squared is equal to c. In this case, I have three squared and 4.2. Okay, so the 4.2 was the hypotenuse on the other one, on the first triangle, but now it's just one of my sides on this triangle. So again, second and x squared gives me square root. Three squared plus 4.2 squared is about five point. This will round up to be two. So C is approximately 5.2 centimeters. So I'll go back to my design page, label my hypotenuse, 5.2 centimeters. All right, I'm gonna go back to the directions real fast just so I can show you what's happening here. So we started off connecting the endpoints Okay, we showed our work. We used the length of the two segments and the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the length of the hypotenuse. We rounded to the nearest tenth. We showed our work. Back on the design page, we used the ruler to create a new right triangle. The old hypotenuse will now be the base of the new triangle. The other leg will be three centimeters long. Use the corner of a paper or your ruler to create your right angle. Label all side lengths and label each triangle and then repeat. Okay, we're gonna make 17 triangles. So you're gonna keep doing these steps until you have 17 triangles. Then you will decorate your spiral in a unique creative way, create some kind of picture out of it, um, neatly color it, turn your paper, you can um, turn your spiral different ways. Here's the rubric, okay? So let's create another triangle. All right, so here we are. We have our first two triangles made, okay? So again, I'm using the hypotenuse. I'm using my ruler to create my right angle, okay? So just putting my ruler on the hypotenuse there and drawing um, my right angle, okay? And, and this is about three centimeters. All right, so when I go to measure this, okay, so that's right about three centimeters, so that's perfect. Gonna use my ruler, create my new triangle, all right. So this is my new right triangle right here. This is my right angle, this is triangle three. I'm finding the hypotenuse here. All of these outside sides are gonna be three centimeters. So I'm just gonna label this with my three centimeters. Okay, to find the hypotenuse, I'm gonna go back to the work page. So I have Square root a squared plus b squared equals to c squared. And my sides are three squared plus 5.2 squared. And I square root that. Take my handy dandy calculator. Second x squared, three squared plus 5.2 squared is about six. So c is about six centimeters. Okay, so I can label the hypotenuse back over here. This is about six centimeters. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep repeating these steps. Okay, I'm gonna use the ruler, connect the two segments, create my right triangle, 
use the length of the two segments and the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the length of the hypotenuse. Round to the nearest tenth. Show your work. Use the ruler to create a new right triangle. The old hypotenuse will now be the base of the new triangle. The other leg will be three centimeters long. Use the corner of a paper or your ruler to create the right angle. Label all side lengths and label each triangle. Repeat these steps till you have 17 right triangles and it will um, create your spiral. So again, this is what the first few triangles of the spiral look like. We've made three. You're gonna keep going and this will spiral around and almost work its way back here, okay? So once you finish drawing this and showing all your work, I'm gonna show all your steps, write the formula, show all your work, then you will um, use your creativity to create a design for this.